Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll walk you through the basics of After Effects, from changing layouts to how to create new compositions for your edits. This tutorial is for complete beginners in AE, and if you enjoy it, I'll definitely create more beginner-friendly guides to help you master After Effects as quickly as possible. Let's begin with the workspace, or the layout, because that's the first thing we see when we open After Effects. At first it might look okay, but in reality, it's messy. There's not much space, and most of the important panels aren't even visible. So let's fix that. You can quickly switch between the default layouts by clicking in the top right corner. Options like default, review, and others are available, but honestly, they're not as comfortable as creating your own custom layout. So let me show you how to do that. First I'll start by closing all the unnecessary panels. Just right click on any panel you don't need and choose close. Now go to the window menu at the top, and from there, enable only the panels you actually use. For example I often need the tracker panel, so I'll enable that. I also use content aware fill, and of course, the effects and presets panel is essential. Once you've enabled the panels you need, you can rearrange them however you like. Just click and drag them into place, stack them, dock them or move them to another section of the screen. Make it feel right for you. After setting up your layout, it's time to save it so you don't lose it the next time you open After Effects. Go to Window, then Workspace, and click on Save as New Workspace. Give it a name and click OK. Now it's saved in the top right corner alongside the default workspaces. So here you can see my saved workspace, named AM Film. If I click on it, it will open my custom layout and it will stay as the default every time I open After Effects. It's clean, spacious, and perfect for editing. And if I ever need to use a panel I didn't include, I can just go back to the window menu and enable it anytime. So, this is the very first thing I recommend doing in After Effects as a beginner, setting up your workspace to make editing more comfortable. Now let's move on to the next step, how to import your clips and create a new composition. Let's drag and drop our clips into After Effects, right into the project panel here. This is where you'll see your clips, music, images, and any assets you import into AE. To create a new composition and start editing, you could click the New Composition button, but I don't recommend doing that. Instead, select any clip you'll be working with and drag it onto the New Composition icon down here. The reason I don't recommend clicking the New Composition button manually is because it creates a blank composition with default settings. That means you'll need to set the resolution, frame rate, and duration yourself and if you don't know the exact settings of your clip, things can get messy. But when you drag your clip onto the New Composition icon, After Effects automatically creates a composition that matches your clip settings perfectly, including the correct resolution frame rate, and length. This saves time, avoids mistakes, and ensures your edit starts with the right technical settings. It's the fastest and most accurate way to start editing with your footage in AE. If we go to Composition and click on Composition Settings, we'll see our video and composition settings right here. You'll also notice that a new composition has appeared in the project panel. Let's rename it to Stay Organized. So, open the composition settings again, give it a name, and hit OK. Now in the project panel, we can see our composition with the new name we gave it. So that's basically how we import clips and create a new composition. Now let's jump into the After Effects tools and I'll explain what each one does. The first one is Selection Tool. The Selection Tool is the most basic and most used tool in After Effects. You can find it at the top left of your interface, or just press V on your keyboard to activate it. This tool allows you to select and move any layer or element in your composition. You can use it to reposition layers, adjust their size using the bounding box, move keyframes in the timeline or simply click to select anything you want to modify. The hand tool is used to move around your composition or timeline panel. It doesn't affect your layers or animation, it's just for navigation. When you're zoomed in and want to look around your canvas, simply click and drag with the hand tool. The zoom tool lets you zoom in or out of your composition panel. Click to zoom in, or hold Alt or Option on Mac and click to zoom out. This tool helps you get a closer look at small details or zoom out to see the full picture. I'm skipping those three tools because they are used for 3D layers. Right now they're grayed out because I haven't enabled 3D on any of the layers in the composition. In the next beginner tutorial, I'll teach you how to use the 3D tools, explain what 3D in After Effects means and walk you through all the basics step by step. The rotation tool allows you to rotate a selected layer around its anchor point. It's great for creating spinning animations or adjusting the orientation of an object. Just select a layer, click and drag in the composition panel to rotate it. The anchor point tool, also known as the pan behind tool, is used to reposition the anchor point of a layer. The anchor point is the center of rotation and scaling for a layer. By moving it, you change how the layer behaves when it rotates or scales. This is super helpful when animating things like doors, arms, wheels, or anything that needs to pivot from a specific spot. Now let's talk about the rectangle tool, ellipse tool, and the masking tools in After Effects. These tools are mainly used to create shapes or masks on your clips. If you use them without selecting any layer, they will create a new shape layer. But if you have a layer selected, they will create a 
a mask instead. The rectangle tool draws rectangles. The ellipse tool draws circles or ovals. The pen tool allows you to draw custom shapes and masks by clicking to create points and curves. It's one of the most powerful tools in After Effects and is used for masking, shape animation and creating motion paths. You can click to make straight lines, or click and drag to create smooth, curved lines. The text tool lets you create and edit text directly in your composition. Click anywhere in the composition panel to start typing. You can adjust the font, size, color, spacing and more from the character and paragraph panels. Text is fully animatable in After Effects, which makes it perfect for titles, captions, or motion typography. The brush tool is used for painting directly on your layers inside the layer panel. It works similarly to a brush in Photoshop. You can paint frame by frame to add effects, draw, or create hand-drawn animations. The clone stamp tool lets you copy pixels from one part of your layer and paint them somewhere else. It's often used for removing unwanted objects or duplicating parts of a video frame. The eraser tool removes brush strokes that were added using the brush tool. It doesn't delete the actual video or image content, only the paint effects. Again, you'll need to be inside the layer panel to use it. It's useful for cleaning up any unwanted strokes or paint animations. The roto brush tool is used to separate a subject from its background in a video. It works kind of like Photoshop's quick selection tool. You paint over the object you want to keep and After Effects tries to track it over time. This is useful for removing backgrounds without a green screen, or for isolating people, cars, or objects in your footage. The Puppet Pin tool adds pins to a layer that let you bend and deform it like it's made of rubber or cloth. You can place multiple pins on a character or object and animate them individually. It's great for simple character animation, like moving arms and legs, or creating a wavy flag effect for example. I hope I explained everything clearly. Honestly, I don't even use all of these tools. About 90% of the time, I only use the selection tool, the masking tools and the roto brush tool. The rest of the tools are rarely needed in most editing situations. So now let's jump into adding clips, cutting them and creating a simple edit using two clips. Since I already have my first clip on the timeline, I can drag and drop my other clips as well. Now for example, I want to cut both clips and create a simple basic edit out of them. Let's say I want the first clip to start right here. That means I need to delete the left part of the video. To cut it, simply press and hold Alt and opening bracket on your keyboard. Now let's move the clip to the very beginning of the timeline. Scroll there first, then press opening bracket and AE will snap the clip right to the start. Next it's time to cut the ending. Scroll to the point where you want the first clip to end, then hold ALT and press closing bracket to cut it. If you don't want to cut the clip entirely, you can split it into two parts by pressing CTRL plus SHIFT plus D. Now you have two pieces of the first clip. You can drag the extra part further on the timeline to use it later or just delete it if you don't need it. Next move your second clip to the left by pressing opening bracket on the keyboard. Then cut this clip the same way, either cutting or splitting it in two. And here you you have your first basic cut ready. I think that's enough for today. This is the very first beginner tutorial on the channel. If you want more and want to learn how to master After Effects really quickly and for free, let me know in the comments. More easy tutorials are coming soon. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.